Director of Agriculture, Dr. Sadru Karanja, the Governor of this great county, His Excellency Sharif Nasil, the Governor of Taita Taveta County, our Member of Parliament for Jomvu, the National Chairperson of ASK, Annabella Kirinya, the Mombasa Branch Chair, Members, other leaders, distinguished farmers and exhibitors, good afternoon. Uh, before I begin my address today, let me take this opportunity to, mass, to pass my deepest sympathies on the passing on of Mr. Hasmuk Patel, the founder of Mombasa Cement, who died last week after a short illness. Mr. Patel was a great and philanthropist who strived to help the underprivileged and ran several charity projects including feeding programs in Mombasa, Kilifi and Kwale that benefited hundreds of thousands in the three counties. Through his kind actions, he has taught us great humility, love and service to humanity, irrespective of the socio-economic background he built our nation and our humanity. On my own behalf and on behalf of my family, I pass my deepest sympathies to his immediate family, relatives, his staff, and the people of Mombasa County and Kenyans at large. May his soul rest in peace. Let me request you to stand up. We observe a moment of silence in honor of the late Patel. Thank you very much, Asante Nisana. I'm, I'm delighted to join you, farmers and other stakeholders in the agricultural sector for the opening of this year's ASK Mombasa International Show on behalf of His Excellency President William Ruto, who is out of the country on official duty. This morning, I had a cup of tea courtesy of the tea farmer, the tea had sugar, courtesy of the sugarcane farmer, the tea had milk, courtesy of the dairy farmer. The beverage was accompanied by some boiled green maize, courtesy of the maize farmer. Which the government has sustained for years as trade fair platforms for training, networking, and showcasing innovations and best practices in crop and animal husbandry. From the exhibition stands I've sampled, I'm deeply impressed with the emerging technologies. It is clear that the agricultural sector is innovating for enhanced food security and transition to sustainable agripreneurship. Distinguished farmers exhibitors, the, ag the agricultural sector contributes 22% directly to our GDP and 27% in interlinked sectors and subsectors like manufacturing. Agriculture employs more than 40% of the population and 70% of our people in the rural areas. It is among our leading foreign exchange earners, plowing in about 33% to the GDP. As underpinned by the bottom-up economic transformation agenda, the government has given priority to the blue economy, edible oils, rice, cotton, tea, coffee, beef, leather, dairy, avocado, macadamia, sugar, and other key value chains. The interventions are bearing fruit. In distribution of 4.69 million bags of subsidy fertilizer to over 800,000 farmers, valued at 11.9 billion Kenya shillings, 
we have increased production across various subsectors. Consequently, the Ruto administration aims to provide 12.5 million bags of subsidized fertilizer across the country for the 2024 long and short rain seasons. In 2023, the volume of tea export increased by 16 percent from 450 million kilograms in 2022 to 522.9 million kilograms. The export earnings from tea reached a record of 180 billion Kenya shillings in 2023, up from 138 billion shillings in 2022. This is expected to rise again to 211 billion shillings at the end of the year. This represents a 31% increase in value of exports, the best earnings ever recorded by the tea industry over the years. The high returns were, compl were complemented by the radical reforms we are undertaking in the tea subsector in ensuring the small scale farmer is king. This morning, I engaged directors and the leadership of KTDA. We agreed that there is no option to implementing the reforms to the latter as demanded by farmers during the tea subsector conference in Kericho in the year 2023. Later today, I'll visit tea warehouses here in Mombasa for better understanding of any required interventions to fully unlock the potential of the crop. On the coffee subsector, we aim to increase exports from 48,000 metric tons in 2022-2023 financial year to 60,000 metric tons in the 2024-2025 financial year as we march towards 102 metric tons by the year 2027. Towards this initiative, the government has supported farmers in four counties with 49,000 seedlings. For the financial year 2024-2025, we have an additional allocation of 3 billion shillings for the coffee cherry revolving fund and further 2 billion shillings for the coffee debt waivers hence alleviating cash flow challenges faced by our farmers. We are also undertaking a raft of reforms in linking the coffee farmer to the consumer for better returns. The Direct Settlement System, DSS, at the Nairobi Coffee Exchange, has revolutionized the payment process for coffee farmers by ensuring transparent and efficient settlement process. Regarding the European Union deforestation regulations, the government has mobilized ministries, state departments and agencies to form an interministerial committee to fast track compliance with the European Union market requirements. The government agencies have the requisite and sufficient data to set up a due diligence system. We have started the process of ensuring our coffee farmers comply by December 30th, 2024 deadline. In the livestock subsector, to improve hide and skin quality, 1,165 flares in 163 slaughterhouses were trained and 1,195 flaying tools issued to them. In our quest for value addition, construction of the Kenya Leather Industrial Park is 85% complete. In addition, meat exports increased from 14 1,985 metric tons in 2022 to 16,281 metric tons in 2024 as a result of conquering new markets. On the daily value chain, milk sold in the former market increased from 755 million liters in 2022 to 811 million liters in 2023. The price for milk increased from an average of 47.2 shillings per litre in 2022 to an average of 49.9 shillings per litre in 2023. While the ongoing upgrading of the new KCC factories, we are increasing the processing capacity as we also implement the minimum earnings per litre to 50 shillings, the take home for the farmer. To reduce an net milk spoilage, the government has put in place various interventions, including investment in bulk chilling and cold storage infrastructure, 
with procurement and installation of 220 mule coolers across the country ongoing. In addition, the government is enhancing the institutional capacity in establishment of four liquid nitrogen plants to support improved dairy breeds. On edible oils promotion projects, farmers have benefited from provisions of sunflower seeds in various counties. The project targets to increase the area under edible oil crops from 60,000 hectares to 450,000 hectares. It is our sustainable strategy for reducing importation of edible oil by 50 percent by the year 2027 from 717 million metric tons to 358.8 million metric tons, hence saving the country 58 billion shillings in foreign exchange. On cotton, we have increased the area of production from 10,000 hectares, acres, sorry, 10,000 acres in 2022 to 39,000 acres in 2024, with several county governments committing to support production of this crop. The price of the seed cotton has also increased from 52 shillings per kilo in 2022 to 72 shillings per kilo in the year 2024 to motivate more farmers. The Kenya Kwanzaa plan is to increase cotton production to 100,000 bales by the year 2025 to meet the local textile demand. Further, our administration has been distributing 854,000 assorted certified seeds, of which 17,700 is cashew nuts and 15,500 is coconuts, and 376.6 metric tons of drought tolerant seeds to farmers in 25 counties. This is to enhance food security and crop diversity during the 2023 short rains and 2024 long rains seasons. With a write-off of 117 billion shillings owed to by state-owned companies, we are also restoring competitiveness in the sugar industry. Under the blue economy, we are working with partners in increasing the capacity of harvesting and processing fish and other marine resources. In our value addition strategy, we have invested in construction of county aggregation and industrial parks across the 47 counties to provide common user facilities for storage and processing of our farm produce. Distinguished farmers, exhibitors, ladies and gentlemen, while we are banking on these strategies to catalyze economic growth as envisioned at a better and the Kenya Vision 2030, climate change is a threat that calls on us to rethink and be more innovative in expanding agribusiness. For this reason, I wish to commend the Agricultural Society of Kenya team for the apt theme of this year's show, promoting climate smart agriculture and trade initiatives for sustainable economic growth. We are compelled to devise and adopt climate less late technologies to surmount challenges in the production chain. The exhibitions here have presented the best innovations. We have identified potential nascent ideas for incubation and nurturing to maturity and industrial application for the benefit of our farmers. It is notable that learning institutions have been taking part in these ASK shows. We are involving our learners in providing solid solutions to food security now and into the future. In this regard, the government is strengthening 4K clubs across the country. We have trained 970 trainers of trainers, including 4K clubs, patrons, agricultural extension officers, and youth volunteers. Through this program, we have 1,870 registered 4K clubs with a membership of 115,000 people. These clubs provide a platform for young people to learn, collaborate, and innovate in agriculture fostering a new generation of skilled agripreneurs. Additionally, we have supported 124K clubs and young farmers, including that the three schools in Mombasa County, with equipment, certified seeds, assorted seeds, egg incubators, and other essential tools. 
distinguished farmers, exhibitors, ladies and gentlemen, as we bank on innovation to promote agro-trade along the value chain, we also have a responsibility to look into national and county policy frameworks on ease of doing business. For instance, multiple taxes on a Kenyan farmer in transit counties hampers trade. Our counties need to harmonize tax laws to facilitate smooth inter-county trade if we have to put more money into the pocket of the farmer. On the other hand, with our counties being largely dependent on agriculture, on exploitation of marine resources under, blue, under the blue economy, creating linkages to profitable markets through farmer-focused technology will ensure produce reaches the market on time for real value. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, our administration is focused on increasing investments in the agriculture sector to spur growth and further lower food prices, increase incomes and employment creation, thus contributing to economic recovery. I once again commend the Agricultural Society of Kenya, Ministry of Agriculture and Livestock Development, the County Government of Mombasa, the farmers, exhibitors and other stakeholders for a successful Mombasa show. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my pleasure to declare the 2024 Mombasa International Show officially open. Asante Nisari. Getaka tu kuongeza tuja bumoja kuhusu wakulima wetu wa makadamia. Kwa sababu tumeona hisia ya kwamba hiko mfurutano with the, manf with the manufacturers and the processors and the farmers. When there was a big problem when the manufacturers and the processors were paying the farmers. The government intervened and we allowed the farmers to continue exporting raw products for better returns. And whereas the processors and the manufacturers were paying farmers for macadamia between 20 to 30 shillings, after we allowed the farmers to export directly, they were, the prices shot to between 100 and 150 shillings. Now, the manufacturers and the processors want us to go back to where we were, to not allow our farmers to export raw products. We are saying as an administration, we don't have a problem with that, provided we sit down with the manufacturers and the processors and agree on a minimum return, which should not be below what the farmers are receiving today. If the, if the manufacturers and the processors are amiable to that discussion, we have agreed with the CS that we are willing to engage them as early as tomorrow, so that we can ask the farmers to give them the macadamia nuts for processing, provided they pay what the farmers who are receiving or higher. That is our commitment as a government to the macadamia farmers. So, wasikuwe na wasiwasi, hatuwezi kubali turudi pahali tulikuwa ya shilingi 20 na 30. Iyo ni maneno ambaye hawezi kubalika. Kwa hivyo, the manufacturers and processors up your game. When you process the macadamia nuts, you even get a higher return. Hatuwezi kubali. Nyinyi mchukue macadamia nuts ya wakulima, you process. Muende muuze pesa mingi. Alafu muweke yote kwa mfuko. Alafu mulete wakulima pesa ambaye ni mabaki ambaye hawezi kueleweka na mutia yote. Iyo ni mambo serikali yetu hawezi kubali. Kwa hivyo tunauliza wale process and manufacturers to get to kubaliani. Mukiwa mutalipo wakulima vizuri. Vile wamekua wakilipua, wakipeleka makadami ya nazi yao in raw form. Sisi kama serikali hatuna shida yeyote. Lakini kama itarudi vile mulikuwa muna walipa, I am sorry that is something that is not agreeable to the government and to the farmers of makadamia. Kwa hivyo mimi ni meshukuru sana mweshimiwa umesema vizuri. Raisu wetu William Ruto aliuda serikali ya kila mtu 
na hapa pwani mkafaidika sana kapata waziri Salim Mvuria waziri Ali Hassan Joho sasa ile watu mlikuwa kwa ODM mko ndani ya serikali sasa hii maneno nasema hapa muunge mkono hiyo ndio kasi ya kuwa kwa serikali sina kuaga namna hiyo sasa ile tunasema hapa mnaunga mkono so we are saying we are happy that everybody is part of government and this brings the people of Kenya closer it brings unity of the country and the coast region now you are right in the center of government you can no longer complain of marginalization you are part and parcel of government please let's join hands with the president for the development of this coast region the development of the Kenyan nation for the benefit of the Kenyan people across political parties line across regions across all forms of formations so that the people of Kenya are one and they are able to benefit from development from our resources uniformly across the country kwa hivyo sisi tunakaribisha nyinyi tufanye campus pamoja tusaidiane na tufanye mambo ambayo itapeleka taifa letu mbele so with those very many remarks i want to say asante sana tumeshukuru sana and uh, tutakuwa pamoja mkitualika mwaka ujao tutakuwa hapa na tumefurahishwa sana na wale eh, parachutas wale walikuwa hapa watu ya parachutes iko moja kuna ile target ilikuwa imewekwa pale walikuwa kumi but one of them alishuka kutoka huko juu akaenda pale kwa target ile that paratrooper nitampatia shilingi laki moja kwa sababu niliona alikuwa alikuwa na ujuzi wa hali ya juu sana 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 pia tumefurahia maofisa wetu wa kijeshi wale wameonesha hapa umaarufu ya kupambana na magaidi hata kama alishutua sisi na mlio kidogo yule mwenye kutangaza angetayarisha sisi najua tuliko na watu wengi mama wajawazito nini next time yule mwenye kutangaza pale anatujulisha ya kwamba kunaweza kuwa na mlio kali ndio watu wasishtuke najua watu wengine ni watu wako na challenges <laughs> sasa unaweza shitua mtu ukute tumepata hasara but otherwise we want to thank uh, our officers for the very good show hata wale ya prisons bad tumefurahia sana ile muziki na hiyo muziki pia mkipata nafasi wale wafungwa wako huko pia mna wachezea wanafurahia wakiwa huko so that wakisukuma siku zao pia wanajisikia wako Kenya si hiyo iko sawa sawa yeah so so you know it is very we are very entertained it was very nice and we have really enjoyed ourselves and uh, we look forward to coming back again to Mombasa and to other international trade fairs across the country asanteni sana mungu wabariki